Hi guys, Fred here, AF Math and Engineering. We just solved the shear diagram above, as we have here, and now we're going. I'm going to show you how to solve the moment diagram, or you know any any moment diagram directly from the shear. Okay, so let's begin. Now, as we discussed before, the and this is just a fundamental idea of how this works is that the integration of this area or the area under this curve right here is equal to the moment, is equal to the bending moment. It's a mathematical principle. So. How do we find the area of a triangle? Easy, base times height divided by two. All right, let's do it. So what do we have? We have 10 meters, we have 100, okay? Divided by two, okay? And we're going to get 500. So 100 times 10 divided by two, it's negative, it's moving down. So we're going to have a, use this pen here for you. We're going to have a negative 500 kilonewton meter moment, okay, right here. And let's refer now to the circle that we drew, okay. And how is the shear acting? How is it? How is it increasing? Okay, it's negative and it is increasing. Okay, the shear is becoming larger, so we have a negative increasing. So we look at the shape of this circle here, and that is the shape that we draw our our, our curve on the moment diagram, okay. So that's a curve right there, okay. Sorry if that looks like a straight line, but it's supposed to be a curve. All right, let's continue. So what do we have next? We remember, we have a free moment here and that is going to affect the moment diagram, okay? So with that being said, we are going to go up to 15 meters, all right? And we're gonna stop and then we're gonna incorporate that free moment, okay? So let's find this area here, all right? right before the free moment. So what do we have here? We have 152.73, uh, that's the height of this rectangle and the rectangle is five meters long. Okay, that gives us 763.65, that's the area under this rectangle. All we're gonna do is add it to negative 500 and that's gonna give us 263.65, okay, that's positive. And that's going to come all the way over here as we discussed, okay? Right. 263.65 and that is linear. It's not increasing or decreasing, so that's going to look like this, okay? Perfect. Okay, so what do we do here now? Well, if we look back to our initial beam, we have a negative moment of 20 kilonewton meters. That's a free moment, okay? So the, the one thing that you need to remember is if you have a moment that is negative, okay, it's gonna cause your moment here to increase, okay? Uh, that's, we can go over that later. For now, just know that when the moment is negative, it, the moment on the bending diagram is going to go up, and if it was the other way, it would go down. Okay, so we're going to add 20 to 263.65. That's going to give us 283.65. Okay, there we go. And then we continue along exactly the way that we were solving this one. So we have another rectangle of 152.73 times 5 meters. That's going to be 763.65 and we're going to add that to 283.65, and that's going to give us, I know it's not to scale, uh, forgive me for that, just trying to save space, 1047.3, okay? So we're at 1047.3, okay? Now, this is important, this is very important, and we're going to need to know the point of zero shear here, okay? And the point of zero shear is going to be the maximum moment on the moment diagram. How do we find that? Simple. We knew that the slope on the shear, uh, the distributed load right here was 40. It's, it's decreasing by 40 kilonewtons per meter, right? So we simply come down here and we say slope is equal to rise over run, okay? Rise is 7.3 over run and the run is going to be this distance here of that triangle, okay? So solving for that, we get 
3.818 meters. Okay, 3.818. Now, we, uh, we're here, we're at the maximum point, 1338.9 kilonewton meters, and we now need to find the tri... I, I did add this distance, and sometimes you might need it to calculate, you know, a, a little triangle here. But in this particular case, we have a large triangle here, uh, and we know this distance, and we know this distance. So we, we can find the base of this triangle up to the point uh, of zero shear, and we can just solve directly for the moment using that, okay? So what I mean by that is we have six meters here, okay? 32 minus 26 is the base of this triangle plus this little distance here, okay? Which is 2.182. You can also do, you know, 32 minus 20 minus 3.818. There's a bunch of different ways to do it. I just did this to show you how to find that little distance there. So let's try it. So we have 32 minus 26, that's gonna be six, right? And plus 2.182, okay? 8.128. So, I just wanna draw this in for you. This distance here is 8.182 meters, okay? So how do we find the area of the triangle? This triangle here, simple. 8.182 times 327.27 divided by 2, and that should give you exactly the same number as we have here, which it does. It's 1338.9. And what that's going to do is, well, let's take a look. We're negative increasing, right? So we have this curvature to our curve, and we are going to simply go back down to zero, okay? And I know it, it, it seems a little more complicated, or maybe, maybe it seems tricky, but I, I'm telling you guys, this is the easiest way to do a bending moment diagram. This is the way our professor taught it to us, and um, it really does work. And it is actually a lot safer than doing it with the equation method we showed you before in Strengths 1. You know, uh, practice it, try a bunch of different diagrams, and master it, and you'll get 100% on this question. All right, thanks for watching.